Hey everyone, this is Casey. Today, let's make this really easy yet cool geometric digitalization effect together. So here we have a goggle model which I grabbed from the asset browser. It comes with the material, so it's pretty nice. And I'm not going to explain the lighting in this video, but you can always download my project files, they're all free. Now let's search for the constellation generator. Please note that this is only available in the latest version of Cinema 4D which is 125.2.0. We can drag our model directly into this object point source. To get a better view, let's select the spline in the final output for now. We'll notice that this will generate a pretty regular pattern, which I believe is following the flow of the model's polygons. And I think this looks kind of boring, so I don't want this. Instead, I will make a cloner and clone several cubes onto the surface of our model using the object mode. Then let's put this cloner on the connect object and drag this connect into the object slot of the constellation generator. Now we have some really interesting results. And I've noticed that this constellation generator also calculates cubes themselves. Um, we don't want this, so I'm going to reduce the cube size to zero. We can hide this goggle model in the viewport for now. And we can reduce the search distance to something like this. Another parameter I want to reduce is the max connections under the restrict tab. This is looking good. And anything we can apply to the cloner, we can fully apply here too. For example, I can add a plan effector. And then I can use the linear fields to make some animations. So we can see this network shrinking inward. What I did with my example project is that I added a formula factor. I only have the position ticked on with a really small number. Um, I think the frequency is a bit high right now. So I also reduce the frequency to something like 0.2. Now we can see this thing is kind of wiggling in a very slow pace. Cool. I want to have a technical and scientific feeling. So on these intersection points, I want to add some little random shapes and numbers. Let's add a corner again and put a rectangle under it. Let's make the size really small. And similarly, we're going to use the object mode, clone this rectangle onto our goggles. Previously, our clone account was set to 40, so we'll also use 40 here. Now, all these points have rectangles, but that feels a bit boring. I only want some of them to have rectangles. So we'll add a plan effector, check only the scale parameter, and set its value to minus 1. Then in the field tab, I will add a shader field. Inside this field, I will add a classic noise. I will crank up the contrast and start adjusting the noise scale. We can now see some of the shapes disappear. After this, I want to add random numbers to the points that don't have rectangles. We can do this real quick by duplicating this cloner and changing the rectangle to a text object. Also, we'll need to duplicate this plan effector, replace the original one with this new one, and invert its shader field. Cool. 
Then in this text object, we can type in a number like one. And again, make a copy of this text and type in a different number like 100. What we need to do next is to select blend in the clone mode. Now we can see we have these random numbers on each point. Well, let me quickly adjust the font and size. We also want these numbers and rectangles to wiggle together with the lines. So I'm going to drag the formula factor into these cloners to factors tab. What I'm going to do now is, in the constellation generator, I will set the final output to instance, so we can render out both the connections and the points. Let me adjust the radius a bit. I will make them very small, like this. Finally, let's create a little scale up animation. For the connections, we can do this by adjusting the little graph here. I will select the point on the left and keyframe its position X. As for the rectangles, we can keyframe the mean value of the shader field. The same goes for the random numbers, but since we inverted its shader field earlier, so this time we'll keyframe the max value. So that's basically it. Uh, materials are really simple. The material for the goggle is the default one with the background being a black diffuse material and the lines, rectangles and numbers have this really simple white emission material. As always, you can download my project files, link in the description below. And that's all for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time.